Well, KTV is dedicated to being the number one resource of information for all of our viewers, and that's one reason why we've launched KTV and Espanol. The two key faces behind these broadcasts and reports are KTV's Brenda Rodriguez and Hector Mendoza, and they join us now here on Out Today in studio. We're so stinking excited. So, you guys, you know, I love you. <laughs> and it's great to have you here. And I really, really wanted you on the show so we could help other uh, viewers understand and get to know you even better, which I think is so super exciting. But before we get to know Hector and Brenda, let's talk about your full team, though, mm -hmm. with uh, KTVB and Espanol, because you two are the main faces. But you guys have a team who right. works super hard to make these broadcasts possible. Yeah, we do make up a team of four. Kay. We have our Spanish producer, which is the only television Spanish producer in the state of Idaho at this really? time. And then we also have and our who digital is it? team. That's Daisy Bautista. She's Wonderful. our Spanish producer. And we then Richard Rodriguez. Ooh. He is our digital producer as well. Um, so it, this team is very special because we come from this community. Mm -hmm. um, there is a lot of passion, but together we make uh, something that is very needed in our community and that we've never really seen before in the state. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and for those who have not seen or watch, let's share with them when and where do they see your reports. So uh, we right now are kind of on like a social media base. So right okay. now our stuff is found on our YouTube page and on our Facebook page, which we actually just launched pretty recently about, I think it was like a month and a half ago. So we have our newscasts that air at five o'clock on Tuesdays and Fridays. And then there, we just also started doing sports as well. Now that BSU is coming Are you serious? Into, yeah. Oh, fun. <laughs> so we're doing BSU uh, football because that's, you know, that's the big thing here around, you know, the Treasure Valley. So that's the big thing. And then so we have weather. I do that. And then we have also local and national news that Brenda and Daisy and Richard kind of put together. So, yeah. Yeah. And in addition to that, though, I will add, we did launch that Facebook page and we already have um, a thousand followers. It's really? just very telling of how yes. needed this right. type of content yes. is here in our state. So, well, it's it's definitely a gap, right? Mm -hmm. And you guys are filling that, which is brilliant. Let's get to know you though, it's my favorite part. <laughs> All right, so Brenda, tell yes. us who is Brenda? Oh, oh my God, I'm an Idaho girly. Uh, yes. Born and raised in Rupert, Idaho, and I am so proud of being from Idaho. Um, I went to uh, the University of Idaho, so mm -hmm. go Vandals, any Vandals out there. Awesome. Always excited to talk about that. Um, but I recent, I've been here at KTBB for three years now, yes. and KTBB in Espanol has existed for about three years, but thankfully now to a full team, it has mm -hmm. really made it stand out so much more. So yeah, it's it, grown. It, it's awesome. Uh, my favorite things to do, just hang out with my husband mm -hmm. and my dog, Nacy. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you can just catch me doing outdoor activities, mm -hmm going out to restaurants with my pal over here as well. We hang out a lot. Yeah, we do, yeah. <laughs> and that's awesome because that's authentic, right? That That's a genuine relationship and connection that you guys have. And then that, that reads through the lens as well, right? And people feel that at home. And that's, that's what's so super important. Um, and Hector, who's Hector? Well, before we get in there, I was going to say, me and Brenda actually met at our first station together. So mm -hmm. she's the one that brought me over here because we were oh, going to do really? KTVB in Espanol. And then so she was like, I need somebody to help me out. And we've done it before. So I, she was like, the most perfect person would be Hector. And I was like, well, I just, you know, happy to I come in no and help her out. I have no idea that you so brought Hector here. Just to, just <laughs> to, just to, just to shout job. out Brenda just a little bit. Well, yeah. it's hard to not want to be in Idaho, right? Because I, I yeah. mean, I feel like you've, you've been here twice and you've just loved yeah. a lot of yeah. the things that we offer out here. Yeah. Of course, the jump state is where to be. It was awesome. And so I, I <laughs> I fell in love with the city and I fell in love with just kind of the state a little bit and my wife did too so that was a huge bonus but I guess getting back to me a little bit here um, I was born and raised in California Modesto I, if anybody Star Wars fans George Lucas yes uh, Jeremy Renner from yes. uh, there's you know, a lot the of people movie, in our so. viewership that are familiar with Modesto oh, or are probably from there just so <laughs> you know yes yes so I was yes. born and raised there and uh, obviously a lot of people don't really like the fact that I'm a Bulldog, so I went to Fresno State. I'm a huge Boise State rival here, so. Or as some people call it, Fres Yes. Right, Fres Yes, exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. And yep. so uh, I went to school there, I graduated, and then um, uh, I've worked in a couple of different stations. Started off in Eureka, came over here, okay. and then, you know, moved in different transitions and different phases of news. I was a reporter, mm -hmm. I was also, you know, doing a bunch of different things, and now I'm full time weather. And now you're full time weather, that's yeah. fantastic. What do you guys hope that viewers get out of KTVB in Espanol? Talk about that need in our community for this. Yeah, I mean, we really see the need. Um, and I think it's easy for us to see that there is a need because we come from this community, right? Yes. Our, our parents are a part of that community as well. So uh, we just understand the need, but I, I will just say that doing this, it has really opened a lot of 
doors and lenses and conversations mm -hmm. for us to mm -hmm. really dive deep into our community. It's not just surface level conversations. And I, one of the biggest things for me is we all deserve to know and understand what's going on around our communities. And that includes our local news content. Mm -hmm. And uh, we especially saw that during COVID where everybody was getting this information from local news, but we weren't getting that for our Spanish speaking communities. So there was false misinformation. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of uh, people were scared of what was going on. They saw it on a national level, but not locally. So it just really expanded our eyes into knowing and understanding that this is needed. And I think the biggest thing too, is I think she mentioned it just a little bit, is just the barriers, a lot of different obstacles, whether it's uh, the language barrier, things like that. And I think we grew up that way. I remember I had to translate legal documents for my parents because yeah. they didn't understand what was on papers or um, you go to the doctor and they're explaining you these huge medical terms and then you're trying to translate it. You're five, six years old and you don't really know how to really engage in that sort of sense because you're barely starting off school. We were barely learning English, so I think that's the biggest thing, being able to talk to people and have them understand in their language or understand and just kind of culturally how things differ depending on just, you know, different things. And so I think that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest reason why we felt that it was important for us to have this and the fact that we've gone through it and we know kind of what it's like to be on that side. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best way for us to bridge that gap. And I think we've had the opportunity to go to different events and I think that's the biggest thing. We get the feedback that, hey, I'm so glad you guys are doing this. I finally get to watch newscasts and, and different things and I feel represented and I feel like I'm a part of the community. And I think that's there the biggest you go. thing. Yes, yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head with that, right? They realize they're not alone. They're a part of a community and you care and you're wrapping your arms around that and acknowledging that which is beautiful. Because I mean, not only are you the source of information, but you're also a megaphone for them too, right? Giving uh, a part of our community a voice that has been needed for so stinking long. Uh, I think it's brilliant and I just, you know I adore you guys. And our viewers can come see you really quick. They're gonna That's be at right. Latino Fest in Twin Falls. Yes. You guys are hosting it, right? Yeah, we're going to be emceeing the event, so we're going to yes, be introducing okay. all the artists that are going to be there. A bunch of amazing artists can be showing up, so I think it starts at 1 o'clock and ends at 9.30, so it's just going to be a huge festival party celebrating all cultures, whether it's Salvadorian like myself, Mexican like Brenda, Puerto Ricans, and just a bunch of the rich Hispanic culture that we have here in Idaho. Ah, oh, you guys, that's fantastic. Yes. It's going to be a great time, so hopefully you all join us out there. It's going to be such a great event. The video that you're seeing right now is Boise's Latino Fest, but this in Twin Falls. Mm -hmm. has ex existed for many years so we just know that it's going to be uh, the same turnout uh, if not even even greater so. yes yeah come see brenda come see hector uh, and start a conversation i know they would love to meet you everyone stick around more to come here on idaho today right after the break